just a um, couple of Illinois comments. You know, uh, when you play a Power Five team like that and you uh, get in that position, and which you can't always do, you you need to try to find a way to finish it, and we we just didn't quite get that done. Um, our our game really probably came down to four or five plays, which most games in college football do. Um, but <clears throat> we could turn a few of them around, and would, would, it could have been a different outcome. Um, certainly the drive right before half when we had them 21-6, um, and they went right down the field, got a quick score, that hurt. Roughing in the kicker hurt. Um, but, you know, there were some other plays in there that if we had had we been able to turn around, could have made a difference too. Guys played hard, and they were really disappointed to lose that one. Uh, we probably gave up too many rushing yards to them. We didn't fit our gap very well sometimes, and we lost leverage with our safeties a couple times. It hurt us in the rushing game, and they hadn't been able to run the ball that well this year, so that hurt us a little bit. Um, Tulsa, proud program. Uh, anybody got any extra tickets? I'm going kind of back home, so I need to get, see if I can get some tickets. You guys help me out here a little bit. Should be, I don't know how many fans we'll have, but I'll have some family there. Um, I grew up about an hour and a half from there. <clears throat> so any help would be appreciated. Uh, these guys are, uh, are pretty good on offense. They're throwing the ball really well. Uh, they're averaging over 300 yards a game throwing it. They, uh, they're a little bit down offensively running the football. Um, not sure what to think about those stats uh, with, you know, the Oklahoma game mixed in there like it was. But uh, um, the they, quarterback's a gunslinger. He, he's not afraid of anything. Uh, <clears throat> the defense is solid. Brent Guy I've known for a long time. Their defensive coordinator, he does a good job. Always keeps them sound and well prepared, and um, it, always a challenge uh, to go against Brent. So uh, this this is going to be a close, hard-fought game, I think, and uh, two teams that are one and two that both want to get a win, get back in the good column, and especially we'd like to, uh, with it being our last game before we go into conference play. <coughs> I think so. Um, you know, they've been disappointed the last two weeks, but I think uh, they believe and they know that if they uh, can make a few more plays, they'll get the W. And I think they believe they can win a lot of games yet before the season's up. And uh, I don't sense any drop-offs right there. I mean, they were disappointed after both losses, and they should be. They both hurt. Um, but that's all right. When you make a commitment, they, they should hurt. And uh, we did that, and but we bounced back and had good practices and preparation, so I, I don't anticipate any problems. What's your assessment of <clears throat> how the defense is now with David stepping into the role that Brian had? How does it compare to what we saw before with Brian? Uh, well, we we got to play better on that side of the ball. Um, and, you know, fundamental things. Lost our gap a time or two. They hurt us. Uh, lost our leverage a time or two. That hurt us. Um, you know, if we can eliminate fundamental miscues, um, we'll defend people better. Um, but we're still a little bit of a work in progress, and uh, we're going to have some ups and downs, I think. Um, but uh, that should have been, you know, they gave up 35 defensively. They probably should have gave up 24. Uh, which would have been enough to win the football game. You said that you weren't taking any moral injuries, you know, like you said, the team led a time possession in place. Do you have any problems from that? You know, going forward, that you were able to do about 31 plays in the opposition? Well, I, I think, you know, um, 
10 to 20 on third down and uh, you know time of possession has become a meaningless statistic to us really right now. Um, you know we both had about the same amount of yards we just needed more plays to get them but but if we got the ball they don't have the ball. Uh, I think the point being is that uh, our tempo no huddle stuff has worked pretty well. Um, we've been Last year, we averaged 64 plays a game. We ran 57 in the first half Saturday. Um, so <clears throat> we didn't have a very good third quarter, but we did get a touchdown after the interception. Um, so there, there's a lot of positives, I think, offensively. We, Tyler had one bad throw he'd like to have over, but he really he played an excellent football game. I mean, without Tyler playing the way he did, I don't think we could have been in a position to win that game. He made two or three unbelievable plays and uh, really gave us a chance to win the football game and uh, you know drove us right back down the field after the interception and uh, we recovered the onside kick who knows what happens so uh, I promise you if we could have recovered it and scored we were going for two we weren't going for one as I uh, told somebody we didn't come to lay up it was a par five and we were going for it and uh, <clears throat> uh, just didn't quite find a way to get it done but I you know We've, won't, we've turned the ball over three times in three games um, offensively, so that's good. Uh, we've had some nice drives, some time-consuming drives. I think we either had a 13 or a 15-play drive. We, one thing Illinois did is make his drive for things. We didn't get a lot of big plays in this game. And uh, we, we were able to execute and do that pretty well. Our third down conversion was pretty good. Our fourth down conversion was pretty good. Um, we need to get more takeaways on defense. We need to get the ball out or, or, you know, we should have had one more interception. That guy right there usually catches them. He didn't quite come up with this one, um, but he's usually pretty sure handed. And um, we could have had an, we could have had another takeaway and, and we got when the ball's out, we got to we got to get some more takeaways. That's one thing in three games we haven't done yet very much. Of. Well, you know, our, our penalties at the end were critical penalties. We only had four penalties offensively, so that wasn't too bad. And, and we, I think we ended up with seven in the second half, but the penalties that you notice are the pass interference, the roughing, the kicker. You know, those were critical penalties. At extended drive, you take a field off, goal off the board and let them go for a touchdown, and they get it. So those are always concerning issues. But uh, they weren't dumb penalties. I mean, they were play hard penalties. I mean, uh, we got to tighten David's angle so that he doesn't hit the kicker. We got to, you know, the pass interference uh, that they called on David. Uh, I suppose when they give you a paycheck to come play him, you don't get that call. But I thought it was uncatchable. I really did. But um, like the guy on the chain said uh, to one of our guys on the sideline, when we when we pay you to come play us, you don't get those calls. So, okay. <laughs> and, and, and believe me, yeah, somebody told one of our guys on the sideline. And, and that was probably jokingly. Yeah. I, and uh, I will, the, that crew did a great job. That was a good crew, and they did a good job. And I commend the Big Ten for that crew. They, yeah, they, they, you know. But, yeah, you know, that's the way it is. So, uh, gotta, we got to earn it, you know, and we didn't quite get that done. You know, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but I said this and I felt this way. We ran so many first plays in the first half, I thought we'd give them a week's worth of practice of defending us. <laughs> I know that's silly, but uh, we just didn't execute quite as well. They made some good plays. They got us behind the chain a time or two. Um, you know, we just we got out of rhythm just a little bit. Their offense got in a little bit of rhythm. Uh, but to our credit, we got the pick and we went right down and scored. Um, you know, I, I don't know if against Illinois we're going to make a good drive every time we get it. Uh, you hope to, and to do a little better in the third quarter than what we did. But uh, I suppose if we're honest and realistic with ourselves, we have to understand they're going to get some stops against us too. Just having to string them together in that quarter. Long 
Well, they do. I, I didn't feel bad about our first and second downs, though. Um, I mean, obviously, you got to find ways to convert whatever the down and distance, and the, the longer yardage ones are harder. And we did give ourselves a few long yardage ones, but we, we found a way to – we had a good plan and, and converted it, and the kids executed it uh, well. But, I mean, gosh, we had 460 yards of offense against a Big Ten team, so um, I'm not – we want to do better. Uh, and for 95 plays, we probably ought to get a few more yards, you'd like to hope. But uh, it's hard to sit here and whine about it too much, be critical about it too much, really. You know, we've been through this so much that it wasn't a big deal for our guys. I didn't feel like they it was a big deal for them. It was two hours. and. You know, you keep getting 30-minute warnings. It's 30 more minutes, 30 more minutes. But our guys were good. I mean, you know, we went through it with the, the Wyoming game last year, and uh, we, we have to go through it at practice once in a while. And uh, I, I don't think they would say that it affected them. I just think, you know, and we came out in the first drive. We went right down the field, missed a field goal, and then got it back and went right down and scored. Um, and they had to eke out a touchdown against us right before half. So I, I don't think the rain de delay had – Anything to do with anything? <clears throat> well, that that hurt. You'd like to got in twenty-one-six, uh, and and it was almost too easy. Um, you know, they hit three or four plays, and the quarterback got hot. We went through a a little period there, Steve, where uh, we weren't around Lunt very much. Uh, Early in the game, I thought we had him out of rhythm, out of sync. Uh, we maybe got him throwing, um, moving around to have to throw, and um, and then they, he got a he got into a period there where uh, we didn't get we didn't get a, get him to even move out of the pocket much. And when when we we went through that, he hurt us. And uh, uh, I think that was the big part of that. They they started picking up things and protecting just a little better. Yeah. Yeah, and that's we only had a 12 minute half, so we just they just played a little better than we did in the third quarter. Oh, I think John pulled all the rabbits out of the hat that he had to come after him with, um, you know, and and even the I think it's the last last offensive touchdown. Um, we didn't contain the guy, and we should have. We had a we had a pressure called from there that should have contained him and pulled him up. And then we didn't. We had a couple guys in the secondary, I think, a little off in the call, and um, and everything. But I don't think John left anything in his pocket. And offensively, did you feel like you're starting to kind of let Tyler Jones kind of go out a little bit, spread the ball a little more, test a little deep? I mean, early on it seemed like you know did a lot of quick passes down. There. Well, you know, each week is different because each each group of guys are going to defend us differently. So what we have to do is try to take advantage of what they give us. They played a lot of man coverage on our wide receivers, and uh, we made them pay some, and they made us pay some. And, um, uh, you know, the, the quick rhythm throws, I think um, we had a little protection problems early, so – Tried to get it out of his hand a little quicker so that we uh, didn't have to stay locked on. We, the one end was pretty good rough pass rusher. Uh, so we, we, you know, sometimes throwing down the field was a little more difficult. I, I wish I would have maybe had uh, maybe moved Tyler around in the pocket a little bit more, maybe sprinted out a time or two more um, to, to help him on a couple things like that. But uh, in retrospect, but. I mean, I think we adjusted pretty well. And, and, you know, the last drive we go down and score, we protected good in that drive. I mean, that was the same guys rushing, and maybe they were getting tired finally. But uh, we, we, our protection was pretty darn solid that time. Tyler buys time for some protection with his scrambling ability. I mean, and he has uh, – he made a couple throws Saturday late that 
you know, okay, that's good. It's a completion. But all right, now keep in mind when you start sprinting right and throwing left, you're, you're something bad's going to happen eventually. And and uh, but that's one of the beauties of Tyler is that his as he moves, he maintains vision of the field, and so um, that's one of his positive attributes. You know, the first touchdown to Ben Ijen. Now, I'm coach many quarterbacks would have found that guy in, in that situation. Uh, so that was a real credit to him. Um, so, you know, we want to keep him doing those kind of things as much as we can. you feel like you're trusting him from a lot as the season goes on? It has, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, we hit a slant early and, and uh, we came back to it, not early, but in the drive before the one that threw the pick. And he really should have gone to the inside guy on that one. And the corner made a, really made a great play. It was more a great play on the corner than Tyler's fault. Uh, the corner just really did a nice job. That number 21 was a very good corner. I think we'll see him play on Sundays. He, he, he played well. He was pretty close to the perfect time. All to the field at point. He played a heck of a game. Even with that, he played a heck of a game. It's close to much of the game. Well, they're, they're a different kind of... Uh, style of attack. Illinois was a pro style attack. I would call uh, Tulsa more, a little bit more like us where um, they're, they'd like to establish the run. They're a play action team. The quarterback probably is a little bit like Tyler um, or vice versa. Uh, defensively, I don't think they're going to be maybe as, as uh, Athletic as Illinois, I mean, uh, they've got good size where they need it, and I, I don't mean to sound like they're not athletic, but Illinois had a couple special guys up front that were hard to, and they were six six. I mean, they were a challenge to to block. We had a hard time with seventeen, whether it was run or pass. I mean, we had a hard time with him. Number seventeen, the defensive end, we had a hard time with him, and um, I don't see them having a the six six guy like that guy uh, was the other day. But they, they play hard and they, they rush hard and uh, they're pretty solid. I think so. Ben's been pretty solid for us uh, all three games. I mean, um, you know, I think you're, you were getting uh, good, consistent performance from him, and that's good. As a coach, that's what you want is consistency. Uh, he missed a block on a screen one time that could have got us a few more yards, but uh, he's, he's, uh, you know, I, really, um, Ben, Jafus, um, Brandon, CJ, they're all giving us um, good performances um, at different times, and um, we don't have to depend on one or two. We're not afraid to go to the other guys, which is nice. I sometimes um, you'd like to have that six six guy that like Illinois had that runs those kind of routes and things. But but you know, uh, for us really the the ability to spread the ball around is a strength. I think. There's only one Ben Ija. Okay, he's he, he's uh, he amazes you all the time with the things that he uh, can do. I mean, he's an engineering major. I mean, uh, very serious student. He's a fine young man. I never have a problem with Ben. Uh, he's he does the right things. He has gotten so much better as a football player since he arrived. He's worked hard. I mean, our, our players really look up to Ben, I think, right now as one of our leaders. Uh, so that's a real tribute to him and what he's done since he's been here. Is he, is he by example or is he kind of Mostly example, but he's become more vocal um, as he's moved into his senior year. I think he's accepted the responsibility that goes with that. I think he understands that walking the walk is the first thing to do before you talk it, and he's tried to do that. Uh, I admire Ben for how he's handled himself. Well, this cost extra, Steve. Just in First of all, any injuries to report after this game? Not talking about that. Second of all, 
two weeks ago we said we're talking about how the, the players are in two different leagues and how it's been crucial in the last two years. How do you feel like they've been in the last two years? Uh, injury wise, uh, nothing of any significance to report right now. Um, Mike, excuse me? Tim Gay, I think he'll play this week. Um, we had uh, Damani Alexi and, and uh, Matt Freeman out last week, and I think they'll both be ready to go this week. Um, Mike has a surgery tomorrow, RACPO, and uh, Lucas Askew, who's going to redshirt, is going to have season ending shoulder surgery Friday, but doesn't impact you know, the games right now. Um, I would, as far as the lines, I'd probably give, uh, I'd probably give the O line a B, and I'd probably give the D line a C plus. Um, probably maybe a little better if they'd have been in their gap a couple times better. And it wasn't always them that lost gap control. It was a linebacker at one time. Um, you know, maybe I'm C plus is being a little harsh, but uh, we 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 got to get a little better there. Well, I th I just like to get to two and two going into conference play. Uh, I think um, when when you sat back in August and looked at our first month of the season and think that you had Navy, Illinois, and Tulsa on your schedule, I mean, you know, that's that's not an easy way to say, hey, we're going to be two and two or three and one coming out of non-conference. Um, so um, we've got we've got our shot this week. This is. Uh, Pretty even matchup, I think, in a lot of ways, and uh, I'm sure they are thinking the same thing. They'd like to be two and two right now, just like we would, and uh, that's more of what is on my mind than any kind of statement for for conference play. Conference play is always a little bit of a heightened emotion and mental aspect, with no matter what. But uh, uh, we, I think the biggest thing is. Uh, I felt like we improved in a lot of areas Saturday against Illinois. I really did. Um, we still got a lot of areas to improve on. And uh, the good thing uh, for me as a coach is we can improve on a lot of areas. Sometimes <clears throat> you reach a point where you are what you are. That's what you are. And maybe later on I'll say that. Uh, we, we may be getting close to that. But I do think um, watching our guys and some of the younger guys getting more plays, the, the Andre Elvoids, the Rashad Dillons, uh, um, some others in there, you know, Aaron Shaw, uh, Jamad Williams, uh, Damani Alexi. Those guys hadn't had played none or very little Division I football before uh, we started, and they're getting more reps, and they can get better, and they know they can get better. And there's, they're not the only ones. Uh, I just grabbed those names off the defense right there. But, uh, and so from a coaching standpoint, that, that's, ex that's exciting to know that they can get better. And uh, when, you, when you have guys like DeAndre and Rashad or the young guys, you, you hope they're going to be better in October than they were September. Okay? Better in November than they were in October. You hope that's what happens. That's what you're striving for is for them to, to start to hit their stride and hit their rhythm and become better college Division I football players. And that, that's a time-consuming issue. It's a deal where, it, you know, hopefully you do get better every week. But there's going to be some ups and downs to it, and we understand that.